Today, let's discuss the herringbone grooved bearings. As the rotor spins, the V-shaped grooves create a pumping action generating hydrodynamic pressure. The herringbone groove pattern significantly enhances the stability and load carrying capacity. Looking at the shaft bearing layout for an 8mm shaft, the bearing radial gap is 6 micrometer. The herringbone grooved bearing requires a tight gap between the shaft and the housing, and in this case, C over R ratio is 0.0015. But why such a tight gap is needed? As shown in the figure on the right, when the bearing radial clearance increases to 8 micrometers, the rotor bearing system becomes unstable. If the rotor bearing system becomes unstable, it can vibrate a lot. So to maintain stability of the machine, maintaining tight gap is needed. To maintain tight tolerances during operation, herringbone grooved bearings use low thermal expansion materials such as tungsten carbide, which is durable but heavy. The temperature difference between the shaft and bearing affect the radial clearance, but tungsten carbide exhibits minimal change compared to steels. So companies like Fisher have implemented tungsten carbide based herringbone grooved bearings in their oil free compressors. The herringbone grooves are also used in dry gas seals due to their ability to maintain a small gap around 4 micrometers. Tectonic for their oil free compressors also utilize low thermal coefficient materials like ceramic and tungsten carbide for their herringbone grooved radial and thrust bearings. The groove angle in herringbone bearings is an important design parameter influencing the characteristics such as stability, stiffness, and damping. Also, typically the groove depth exceeds the bearing clearance and laser etching provides favorable herringbone groove profiles. Also, defining shaft surface roughness using parameters like RA, RZ, and RMR is essential for optimizing the functionality of the shaft bearing system. The herringbone bearings find application in many other fields, including hard disk drive spindles, and military equipment. All right, this is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.